Hello everyone, how is it going today? You all right? So today is, uh, what date is it? The 4th of February 2016. Uh, <clears throat> the transfer window has was closed long ago. We didn't buy anybody. Oh yes, we did. Uh, Stephen Colker on loan. It was so significant that I forgot Excuse me, but uh, we got Steve Corker on loan and uh, the new Steven Gerrard, Steven Grucic. Uh, bought for the summer, the summer, the summer, the summer, the future, the future, the future! Well, and uh, most probably many of you watched uh, the... Uh, disastrous uh, defeat against Leicester on uh, Tuesday, was it? Yeah, on Tuesday, uh, where we lost the game 2 0. Anyway, with this video, guys, uh, it's just to share with you my thoughts about the. Uh, we can say, to be fair, we can say that the. Uh, the uh, almost zero activity in the January transfer market. Uh, so obviously we, we refuse to pay uh, the price for Alex Teixeira. Uh, like I said uh, before, I didn't know too much. I didn't even know that this player existed. But all I knew, when, obviously when I, the rumours started, uh, not even rumours, when uh, Liverpool's interest was confirmed about this player, I started to look at the videos, uh, and the statistics, his statistics were impressive. But uh, for one reason or another, we refused to pay the price. And uh, the irony in all this, guys, is that I don't know if you've watched the news, but uh, apparently this player is mulling over a move in China. Now, don't get me wrong. When he did his video, obviously many of you probably know that... Uh, he did a video saying that it would be an honor to play for Liverpool. I wasn't naive to the point that uh, he had his heart for Liverpool and probably he didn't even knew about Liverpool's history or whatever. He just wants, this player just wants to leave the club, leave Shakhtar, you know. And uh, he has his own ambitions to play for Brazil in the next World Cup and I think he's 26 years old now. The, the the next World Cup probably will be his last chance to ever play for Brazil if he ever does. You know, so I know that he's thinking for himself, and I'm, I do not begrudge him for this. To be to be to be fair, uh, but I didn't. Well, I was naive to a point that if ever he joined Liverpool, that he was. Oh my God, in love with the club, knowing everything about the history of the club. And this is a guy, especially if he, if he joins this Chinese club, Jack Ji or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, he's all about himself. And uh, I didn't begrudge him for, for, for this, you know. And uh, Anyway, we didn't get him. I've already forgot about him even before the... Uh, Almost one and a half weeks before the January transfer window ended, I forgot about this player. Even before rumors persisting that we might go back for him in the summer, Alex Teixeira doesn't even exist for me. Long ago. My main problem is the defeat against Leicester. Uh, I don't know for you, but for me, it's, it's hardly a surprise. It's not a surprise. Like I've said a tri trillion times, a billion times before, guys. This team is toothless in attack. Doesn't score goals. We do not have the, the players to score the goals. We do not... The, I bet we've changed the manager, which I've campaigned for, you know. I wanted a change in manager because I was fed up with Brendan Rodgers ages ago. But... Now we have a problem of, of uh, personal, like I said, uh, nobody, I can see absolutely nobody scoring goals, despite the fact that we scored 
uh, eight goals in two games against Norwich and Arsenal. I, I wasn't I wasn't over excited. I, like I said, like I told you before, and what is it now? Five hours without the, t the team scoring any goals. So whether it be Teixeira or any other, please, please, for, for the love of God, please. We should have tried to get a player that knows where the back of the net is. And uh, it won't be Benteke, it won't be Firmino, it won't be Emre Can, Lucas, even Henderson. We lack goals. This team lacks goals. And what does it say, you know, guys? We are in, only in February. The season ends in May. We are only in February. But the league season is over. Top four is long gone. It's over. And... Uh, it's a quite sad state of affairs, as far as I'm concerned, you know. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the Carling Cup final. I hope, obviously, I hope that we win this final, but it's a one-off. It's a lottery, like, we, like I said before. Uh, the Europa League remains uh, a possibility to get into the Champions League. I, I obviously, I said before how crucial it was for the club to get into the Champions League from a financial point of view and to attract the players, even if now we stand a better chance with Jurgen Klopp instead of Brandon Rogers. But uh, no Champions League. Uh, so... I don't know, I don't know, in a way, obviously, obviously, I agree with this. Probably Alex Teixeira, 26 years of age, never capped for Brazil. Uh, he wasn't, probably he wasn't worth, he wasn't worth the asking price, which I think if we paid 38 million pounds, we would have got him in the bag. But uh, sometimes, you know, let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to know about your thoughts about all this, but you, you, you decided... Apparently, Liverpool uh, bid 24, 25 million pounds, you know, so they were 10 million, pound, 10 million pounds short, all right? So you decide to save 10 million pounds and you go with what you have in the season ahead and it's already finished. Mathematically, it's already finished and we, unless we win all our games, which is obviously impossible. Uh, so fourth place is finished. We still stand, stand a chance of Champions League via the Europa League. But the Europa League will be anything but easy to win. See, many very good teams. And the problem, the, the crucial problem remains that Liverpool cannot score goals. So like I've said before, we will probably keep doing draws, the odd win here and there, most probably defeats, only 1-0 or 2-0 defeats. You know, you don't need to score. One goal is enough to at least scrape a draw against Liverpool nowadays. Who can argue with me about this? And uh, the league season is already over. That's a fuck. And uh, <clears throat> I hope that we win the Carling Cup, but it's a one-off. It's a one-off. I'm not too confident about the FA Cup. I would love us to to to, to continue in the FA Cup, but I, the the league season we won't get relegated. We won't qualify for the Europe, and uh, so what's what's left to play for? You know, that's a problem. That's that. And uh, the the thing that bothers me, and I've said this before, guys. That's not a criticism towards the manager. He's still, he's, he's, he needs time. Whoever it be, and I'm a fan of Jurgen Klopp. I've said it numerous times before, but the worry. The worry that I have with Jurgen Klopp is that, like I've said before, he reminds me a little bit of Arsene Wenger. In the sense that even if he has the money, and it's been confirmed now uh, by Jurgen Klopp himself, although, to be fair, guys, uh, this interview by Jurgen Klopp on the back of the closure of the transfer window, trust us smells uh, a bit of propaganda for me you know like all this was prepared you know uh, but anyway this is gone let's forget I'm, I want to look forward in uh, the forward the present and the future it's, it's uh, worthless to talk about what might have been it's over 
we didn't buy anything. We have to go with what we have. And uh, good luck for this, by the way. But uh, Jürgen Klopp, my problem with him, you know, guys, is that even if he has the money and uh, obviously the, the, the main difference with Brandon Rogers is he, de he delivered the trophies. I love the guy. I love the guy, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love his, his charisma, his work rate, his... I think he's genuine, he's honest, he's an honest guy. But my problem with Jurgen Klopp is that even if uh, if he has the money, he won't he won't spend it, you know. And uh we'll have to see what happens as time goes on, the next summer transfer window. But uh not that I'm interested about Arsenal, but you can speak to Arsenal supporters or albeit lately with the signings of Alexis Sanchez, uh, Mesut Ozil or, or, or whatever, they had uh, almost a decade of frustration with Arsene Wenger. Albeit, he made some fantastic uh, moves financially, you know, uh, by buying for peanuts and selling for millions. Uh, but it, all, it doesn't always work like this, you know, sometimes you have, and uh, we do not have any world-class player in this team right now. We do not, and that's my problem, I'll bet we, we do have Jurgen Klopp right now, which is an attraction in itself, to be fair, but certainly we won't be in the Champions League next season, so you come and play for Jurgen Klopp, okay? And then what? You don't have the Champions League, probably no Europe at all. The history again, the history of Liverpool, no disrespect to Liverpool's history. Players are not in, very good, world-class players uh, who are motivated by success, you know. What, what, what can you sell them? And that's my main problem. You know, we'll have to see what happens in the, in the summer. But if we if we decided to overpay, we would have overpaid. I agree with this. I fully agree with this, guys. You know, overpay for Teixeira now. But at least we have him in the bag. Because we are talking about saving £10 million, but not playing the Champions League. We are losing 30 to £40 million. And then trying, forget about Teixeira, but if it's Teixeira in this case, trying Teixeira in the summer. We are not in the Champions League. We have Jurgen Klopp. We have the beautiful history of uh, Liverpool. We have a new, shiny, expensive main stand. So do you want to come to play for us? Do we stand a chance against the teams or the other teams in the Champions League? So we'll have to see what happens, guys. Like I've said before also, I've been a Liverpool supporter uh, since 1996. I had my good moments. I've seen the treble with Gerard Ollier, the Champions League 2005. I've seen them win trophies, but I, I'm craving for them to win the league, you know. It's all about trof trophies for me. I want them to win the league. I hope, I hope that they win the league. One day that I'm alive. <laughs> I'm still young, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, it's looking quite hopeless, you know, especially now that Manchester City got Pep Guardiola uh, with the money that they have. Chelsea will get a new manager. Manchester United, they hate them. They, they won't be shit forever, you know, and they are still even sh as shit as they are right now. They are still better than us from the financial point of view, you know. Tottenham, not to... Even Tottenham are ahead of us. Well, not even... I'm not even... You know, Liverpool right now for me is maybe top six. Or even top seven. Not even talking about the top four. And at the end of the day, for me, as far as I'm concerned, fuck the top four. I want them to win trophies, to win the league. You have to go to the league. We have to be realists. Obviously. 
So we'll have to see what happens. My main worry is that in the summer, obviously FSG will back the manager, I think. And uh, But we won't have the Champions League. And like I've said before in my previous video also, it's a bit, we are still in February, for fuck's sake. We are still in February, there was all to play for. But we didn't give ourselves the maximum chance to maximize the season which is still going on, you know. I don't get this thing, thinking about the summer, the summer, the summer. Thinking about the future and neglecting the present. The present is fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Come on. So massively frustrated, Teixeira or not Teixeira, massively frustrated that we didn't address this goal scoring problem. No. Daniel Sturridge is back in full training for the thousandth time. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the breaking news about his latest setback, niggle or latest injury. We cannot count on Daniel Sturridge. I've already given up on Benteke. So who will score the goals? Again, that's why I, I, I'm not making too many videos, guys, you know, lately, because I'm repeating myself. I will still support the club. I will still watch them. But uh, it's not a surprise the future defeats or draws, you know, that will happen. Uh... You never know in, foot, in football, you know, everything is possible, but maybe we, we, it might be a season to remember for our success in the cup competitions. But my main worry, like I've said before, is that we do not have anybody to score the goals. Anybody. Nobody will score the goals. It's been ages now, the last time Liverpool scored a goal from a corner, from a set piece. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you there. Leave your comments. Please subscribe. Uh, and let me know your thoughts. All right? Take care. Love you all. Bye, my subscribers and the future ones, hopefully.